What's up guys, it's Ariana. I'm here with a new video for you. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make some really cute pillows out of some upcycled sweaters that you can find at your local thrift store. If you go to your local thrift store, guaranteed you'll find some awesome sweaters you could use. I looked for kinds that had really cute patterns or had some kind of rib knit or cable knit to them that gave it some interest. Or maybe you even have some in your own closet that's just collecting dust and you don't wear them, maybe they don't fit anymore or they just don't look quite right. <laughs> you can really use different kinds of knits for this. I would say the bigger knit is probably going to be harder to sew, but the beauty of this is you can really use anything and still make it look really cute. But let's go ahead and get on to it. So for this first one, I made it using this thrifted extra large men's sweater that had a pattern going across the front and back. The other materials you will need are three toggle buttons and some string, both of which I found at a local craft resale shop that sells all kinds of secondhand craft supplies. I made this as a pillow cover for this pillow insert from Ikea that I already had, but you can stuff it like a regular pillow and just make the toggles purely decorative if you want to. First thing I did was put the pillow inside and measure and plan where to make the cuts. I decided to make the flap right under the pattern on the front and use the bottom edge of the sweater, the rib knit, as the edge of the flap since it's already a finished edge. Go ahead and cut off the sleeves and the neck, cutting straight across from shoulder to shoulder. And save all of those scraps, we can use those later. Just to be sure, I laid it on the pillow to make sure it would fit and then cut down the sides to separate the front from the back. Next, cut off the bottom of the front under the pattern, leaving the half inch extra for seam allowance. Do the same for the rib knit on the bottom, leaving the half inch seam allowance as well. This will be lined up with the front right sides together. Before we sew, we need to make loops that will be fastened to the toggle buttons. I used the ribbing from the neck hole since it was hemmed already so I didn't have to do any extra sewing. To make the loops, just line it up with the raw edge between the two cut pieces, letting the loop hang over the edge a little bit to be able to reach the toggles. Make three of these and space them out equally where you like them. So now you can sandwich the loops between the two pieces, pinning the edges to make sure you catch all of the loops when you sew. Go ahead and sew a straight stitch across and you'll end up with this. I went ahead and squared up the front, which you could have done first before you sewed. Next, let's make the bottom half of the front using the leftover piece from the front of the sweater. Do the same with the raw edge using the ribbing from the back piece and sew with a straight stitch. Moving on to the back, just simply trim off the excess from the bottom and sides. Place the front down, right sides together, laying down the top half first and then the bottom half, overlapping the top. Pin all the way around, slightly stretching the ribbed edge like I'm doing here because you want this edge to be snug across the pillow instead of being droopy. Make sure you've pinned through all of the layers and sew all the way around. Once you're done, flip inside out and be sure to poke out those corners and you've got a cute pillow cover. Now let's mark what we need to sew on the toggle buttons. Stuff the pillow inside and see where the loops lie. Once you see where to place the toggles, take two pins and mark a little X only pinning through the pillow cover. Now take out the pillow and grab a needle and some string. I doubled up the string to make it more sturdy. Tie a knot at the end and bring the needle through from the inside right at the X you marked. Then thread the needle through the toggle hole, 
bringing the toggle down and leaving distance based on how thick your loops are. Thread through the hole a second time to secure the toggle at the end and push the needle back through the X. Knot the thread in the inside to finish off. Repeat with the other two toggles and you're done. Stuff the pillow insert back and try those magnificent toggles. This next pillow is much simpler. You'll need pom-poms and some string, again both were thrifted, and a sweater of your choice. I found this sad little misshapen one at the thrift store. I went ahead and flipped it inside out and cut out the shoulders, bottom, sides, and sleeves to end up with the front and back squares. Again, keep those scraps. Then pin and sew around the edges, leaving an opening on one side. After sewing, flip the right side out using the opening you left. For the pom-poms on the corners, take your needle and string and knot the end. Again, I doubled the string to make it stronger. And simply thread the needle through the center of the pom-pom, making sure that you go through the core so it will be secure. Pull the pom down the string until the knot hits the core and fluff the pom to hide the knot. Then just poke the needle into the corner where you want it, grabbing the needle from the inside. Pull it to the desired length of string. I recommend making it shorter than I did because they were a bit too floppy when sitting up. Knot the string on the inside to finish off. And voila! Look how stinking adorable that is! Lastly, it's stuffing time. So those scraps that we saved, we're going to use those and any other fabric scraps you might have. This is a great way to use up and not waste fabric that maybe wouldn't have been used normally. If you don't have enough scraps to make it full, stuff the rest of the way with some fiber fill. I liked adding some anyway to create a softer, plushy padding between the outside and fabric scraps because sometimes it can feel lumpy and bumpy depending on the material. Last step is to hand sew the opening with a ladder stitch, folding in the raw edges. Last pillow is this cute, cozy looking one, and all you need is the sweater. The one I picked had this simple cable knit. We are just going to create two squares, so chop off the sleeves and the neck and shoulders, as well as the sides and bottom hem. Taking the sleeves, which will become our ties, trim to make a straight diagonal line. Now with the back piece right side facing up, line up the diagonal edge of the sleeves on the sides, just a little below the top edge. Fold the sleeves in so that they don't get sewn into the edge and sandwich the front piece on top right side facing in. Pin all the way around this sweater ravioli and sew, again leaving a little gap on one of the sides. Now flip that ravioli and let's stuff it. Again I'm using all these random fabric scraps I have, the light colored ones so that they don't show through, and then finish with some fiber fill as well. and stitch up the gap and use the sleeves to tie a simple knot in the front and there you have it. I 
hope you enjoyed this video and DIY and it inspired you to make your own pillows. Comment down below which one is your favorite and be sure to subscribe for more upcycles. Bye guys! Thank you.